Hello, welcome to another NDC V2 upgrade video. But actually, this upgrade can be uh, installed on almost any CD printer, which micro SD card. Uh, so what I have here is the TF for micro SD card to SD card adapter, and these two boxes are sent to me by Banggood for a review. So uh, one of these boxes will be installed to my NDC V2, and I want to see how it works. And if everything is okay, then the other will go into my Ender 5, but in, in separate video. Now, why this upgrade? Well, actually, I don't want to convince anybody, but this is something you have to decide yourself. For me, I personally don't like those small TF or micro SD cards. They are great in a smartphone or something like that, where you install them and, and it's there and you don't have to move it. But with the printers, uh, I have to take it out, uh, place it in my uh, laptop, but on my laptop I have only SD card reader, not uh, micro SD card reader, so I have to use some adapter. Uh, of course, not a big deal, but for me, yes, this is a, a reason that it is more comfortable for using. Of course, somebody don't even use the SD card, maybe you have the Octoprint, but uh, this is much simpler solution. Uh, but now let's see what's in the box. Hmm. 8 GB SD card is included. And this is some kind of the USB adapter. This is some 3D printed part, and <laughs> uh, I hope it's visible. Uh, even the supports are not removed yet. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we could print this ourselves anyway. Uh -huh. There is a small screw inside, and this is the adapter. Let me take it out. So this side goes into the micro SD card slot. Oh, this is, let me measure it, half meters long cable, and here goes the SD card. <laughs> so I guess the first step is to remove the supports, because there is no manual inside. And I hope I clean it enough, because this properly has to go inside uh, one of the alloy extrusion slot. So let's get started. And always the first step is take out the power cable. And the micro SD card. Now the cable will go from here until the end of this printed part. And you can go even outside below it. Uh, but. Uh, this has to be inserted into this solo extrusion slot. So I have to remove this plate and I can then slide in uh, this pr printed part here. So I start with removing these two screws. The screw will go to the back side. Well, actually, I don't have to remove the plate. Uh, with small bending, I can insert the plastic part into the slot. Now we screw back these two bolts. Now there is a small problem I noticed. So they included this M4 uh, screw, and uh, but there is no thread in this alloy extrusion. So I don't know where to tie this uh, bolt because this has to be fixed. Now uh, I have these uh, T nuts, but usually these are M5. This means uh, one of the solution can be that uh, to use M5 bolt from two sides and from the other side, so they will support this printed part if I press or pull the card. Uh, but uh, the solution I will use that uh, I want to extend that hole so it can fit uh, for my M5 bolt. But it would be much easier solution if they could include this T nut for uh, this uh, M4 bolt. Now I have to insert the SD card holder 
and uh, it can be inserted in any two ways and uh, I want to insert it in this position this I want to go to the left side in this way so I will insert in this position Oh, I forgot to screw back these two bolts. Now theoretically you can uh, arrange this uh, cable through the mainboard holder and through this gap here. But so far I will do it outside completely and I'll try to I don't know, use some uh, stick tape or something like that to arrange this cable. And now I'll insert back the power cable. And before I turn on the printer I want to do one important thing. I want to copy everything from my old micro SD card to new uh, SD card. Uh, because don't forget, especially if you have the original order firmware, uh, there are some important things like Z offset or uh, BL touch settings. Uh, they are stored on SD card and not on EEPROM. Uh, I think on newer firmware like Gyrus, uh, this problem is solved, so these things are saved in EEPROM, uh, which is part of the printer, and you shouldn't have that problem, but just in case, uh, I advise to copy everything from old SD card to new SD card. Actually, I copy only two files, one is the calibration cube, G-code for printing, and the other is the EEPROM data file. So let's insert the SD card, and I have to press it completely down. And immediately I want to check if the uh, printer sees the content of the SD card. And there is a calibration cube, only I have to change the filament. Hmm, not perfect, but it will do it. Print, calibration cube. Printing is in progress, uh, it's just a calibration cube, but uh, I want to see if it will be read it correctly until the end. So we'll see you in, um, I don't know, 20 minutes or something like that. So the printing is finished without any problems. And then now the conclusions. Well, theoretically this should be a complete product uh, for NS3 uh, printers, even with included CD printed parts, because that's how it is advertised. Uh, now I have some, three small issues with this to have a complete product. And first one is that uh, we don't have a manual, but at least now you have this video instead of manual. The second one, uh, the supports are not remote from this 3D printed object. And without manual, I'm not sure that everybody will recognize that he have to remove those supports because otherwise it cannot be used with these cellular extrusions. And the third one, well, uh, I'm not sure if older N3 uh, printers have a hole with the, that thread for M4 bolt which is included uh, with this kit. Uh, N3 V2 don't have, uh, so we should use a T-nut. But uh, my T-nuts are uh, for M5 bolts, so that's why I had to create a, a bigger hole for M5 bolt. Uh, so one small uh, T-nut with M4 uh, should be, uh, solve this problem. And in that case, I would say that this is complete product. So if somebody needs a TF to SD card adapter, this is good uh, solution. Now, and as I mentioned, please don't bother me that uh, with those comments that uh, this is so useless upgrade. You have to decide yourself if this uh, is important to you. And um, thank you for watching and happy printing.